Hey, this is Dan from userspice.com and I've been asked to make a quick video to show how to um, show what the state is of something in MQTT and Node-RED. So we're going to go through this real quick. I've made a topic called testing one, two, three, and uh, I'm going to be basically injecting into it true or false. So um, I think we're set to debug. So if I were to go here, you would see true, you would see false on the topic of testing one, two, three. So how do we visualize that? Um, there's a bunch of different ways you could do it. Um, you could actually use this template node down here and do all kinds of things with HTML and JavaScript. We're gonna do it two different ways, kind of simply. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these text ones and I'm gonna double click it. And because of our small space, um, <clears throat> let's assume you have a whole bunch of them. All right, let's do this. So we're going to do this, and let's say that this is a light, okay? And we're going to, yeah, label light, and then we'll just call it light here, light status. Okay, so if I were to come here and click this, we could, um, first thing we could do is if I drug this over here and hit deploy, um, it'll take a second, but you'll see it'll just magically show up on this side. I'm not doing anything with it. Um, but if I hit this, inject over here on the left I'm getting true and false over there and so what we could do is we could come in here and I could come to a switch node and we could take this thing and we would say that if it's true send it to the top little button and if it's false send it to the bottom little button and so what we would do here is um, we can move this over a little bit what we could do here is go into this change one and say that if it's true that um, we want to set the message payload to let's say on and let's give, make it capital um, and then if we want to make it if it's false we would say that the light is off uh, so we're going to come here to off and then done and then so we would kind of connect the bottom one over here to this and connect the top one over here to this and then deploy and it'll just take a second and all of a sudden it's there and now if I inject this you're gonna get on and off so you would have this uh, live status of you know almost instantaneous knowing whether that's on or off um, you could go a little over the top we're gonna get rid of these things here you could also go a little over the top and do one of these gauges and there's there's all kinds of other gauges I use this one because it's built in and it's easy for you guys to follow me on um, but let me go back this way but it's not it's not that that's the only one that you have to use so let's what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this instead of on and off we're gonna make this a one and we're gonna make this a zero so if it's false it'll be zero if it's true it'll be a one and then we're gonna get rid of this one and we'll grab the gauge in here and then we're gonna drag them back over here and we're going to double click this and we'll call it light again and then light status and then what we're going to do is we're just going to change the range from zero to one and so now when we hit deploy you should have this gauge come up here and I mean you can make it smaller but uh, if you hit true you know the thing goes over there so it's a lot more visual so there, there might be a time when you have something on the other side of your office and you want to know if it's running or not and you kind of want it to catch your attention so maybe you would do this big sweeping gauge but anyway those are just two ways to visualize that stuff um, you can you can play around with it there are other UI things if you go into the palette manager to to develop other UIs but this is just a very simple way of discerning whether that message is true or false.